What's up, babes? It's Curly's Victoria. I'm back with yet another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. Okay, babe, so I'm out of the shower. Breaks, I don't want to hear it. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I do my edge control routine as a locked babe. Um, I've already put a little water on my edges. I washed my hair yesterday. I put a little bit of water on my edges um, not too long ago. But what I'm actually about to do right now is put my hair into a half up half down so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm not even going to tie my hair up which is something that i usually may do but i'm not i'm just going to take this edge control and i'm just going to put it on my edges i'm fresh out of the shower breaks out of bath i had a shower and he's upset right now because he's in timeout um, for pooping in the house and he knew better so you'll hear him right here he's sitting right next to me just in timeout and I'm not taking him out of timeout right now because he needs to learn he thinks that he gets in timeout and I should let him out in like two minutes no it's not long enough for you to learn the lesson because you keep doing certain things you're not supposed to so but anyway y'all so basically I'm gonna instead of doing a voiceover on this video I'm actually going to um, do like a get ready with me style video. As I said before I got in the shower, I had no intentions of wanting to film today. It's just not a, it's just not, I'm not going to say it's not a good day because I think there's good in every single day. Uh, you just have to find it, but it just was not a day where I wanted to really be in the face of the camera. You know, I just wanted to kind of be to myself, but I said, you know, let me be consistent with my, um, upload and let me go ahead and get this content out for the day that was already going to be getting put out and i decided that maybe i should just do like since i'm actively not in the mood to be on social media like obviously if you are doing your media you're posting you have to be on it like regularly even when you don't feel like being on it because that's how you're building your brand and stuff like that like every time you get into uh i don't feel like it mood you're actually holding back from your brand especially when you're the person who's operating every aspect of it um it's okay to take you some off days but try to stick to your goals as much as possible so the thing that i decided to do in this video was because i know how i was feeling like oh i don't want to get on youtube today i don't want to talk uh on the camera today i just need some time I said, well, why don't you actually make a vlog on your pick, pick me up routine? So I'm telling y'all right now, like, I just wasn't trying to do this today. I said, well, why not make a vlog that shows how I pick myself up when I'm feeling down? What a perfect type of video, right? Because in the end of the day, you got to keep going, right? We all have a purpose. We're all meant to be here for something, right? So what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna tie my hair up, which it probably makes sense too. I just don't, I think my head scarf. Oof. Yeah, I think I've already put it, I think I've already put it with my stuff to get washed. So I'm just gonna grab my hair and do a half up, half down look, something that you guys are used to seeing me do. And I'm just going to now, I'll give you guys the details on this edge control in a second because I love it. It's not it's not crunchy, and that's one thing that I love about it. And I feel like when it stops being, like, extra hold on there, it actually starts to feel like just a lock moisturizer product instead of feeling like an um, edge control, which is, you know, some of them can be crunchy. So I do like that. Um, I think I'm going to do a pony, not a bun. And we're just going to do it just like that. I don't think so. Hey. Finish your food and drink your water. It's, that's the only options you got right now, brother. So that's how I do my half up, half down edge control. Um, let me give you the details. So it's from a brand called Morphos. And I got this. It's, a, it's called super hair gel wax but i love it um 
I don't typically get product buildup from this and I just started this is my second container ever that I've used I started using it because I went to the hair store and I needed a edge control and I was like what's y'all best thing on the shelf and normally my beauty supply literally that's the supply you want to go to okay because baby they always have what you need it's like big it looks like a little mini warehouse and the main ingredient is water in here so i did like that you know i'm always looking at my ingredient list however because i wash my hair weekly typically i don't feel like i experience product buildup from this so if you ever see anybody who says they do people are different i don't um get product buildup like that from this simply because like i said i wash my hair frequently and then also i think it slicks my hair as you guys see y'all see that a little bit of water took that a long way right so obviously I've brushed my hair up. So a lot of times what I like to do is I like to go in and be a little bit more defined. So I'll take a little bit more of the edge control product, right? And I'll just go over the areas in which I've already left out as baby hairs. So like y'all see that? And then sometimes I'll just use my finger to just like press on it so the hair lays better. And you know, like sometimes you got to think about where you're going, what you're doing, because I don't think every occasion calls for like my baby hairs to be on swim. Okay. Some stuff is like when I'm getting Barbie, I'm getting cute. Yeah, I will put my edges on Barbie. Okay. But like if I'm going, you know, to go do something um, meeting wise or something like that, sometimes I'm not trying to do overly, you know, baby hair. I, I might slick my edges and stuff like that. I might make sure they're laying but i may not be doing the dramatic gaudy baby hairs i just feel like sometimes my baby hair my baby hair uh art literally has to depend on the occasion and what's going on i ain't ashamed of the baby hair swoops baby i'm just saying sometimes i don't need to be swooping as much as i be swooping okay Sometimes you need to tone it down. It's almost like when you go to a professional work setting. Everybody has their own opinion. But I personally think when you go to work, you don't need to be overly made up. Like, you don't need to look like a clown. You don't need to have every color of eyeshadow you can think of under the sun on your face when you go to work. This is my opinion. I just feel like just have a neutral face. Either wear your natural face or if you're going to wear makeup, wear the clean girl, no makeup look makeup. I don't know. I just feel like distraction flags i don't like i don't know i have my own perception of things so if you go to work and you have on all your uh color palettes baby do you i'm just saying these are things that i think so cut it out bricks spit it out what did i say would you like to sit there a little bit longer no i don't think so I'm taking my beauty drops, y'all know I swear by my beauty drops, y'all. By the brand Ray. Really good brand. You can get Ray from Target, Sprouts, a whole bunch of places. But I'm going to be taking my beauty drops. So I'm putting some and I'm dropping it into my matcha. I have a matcha latte right now with some cinnamon in there, some more razzle dazzle. This is what your girl is drinking. Chef's kiss, so good. No, no, no. Do you not hear me talking to you, Mr. Briggs? I said no, boo boo. I don't wanna have to keep telling you no. He will look right at me and still continue to do what he wanna do. And it's like, no, I've said no, stop it. Anyway, y'all. So this is what my edges look like. I'm probably gonna cut the video at some point just to show y'all my edge routine, like what I do for my edge control. But then I'm also gonna continue to put this in a get ready with me vlog slash pick me up. Ice me out. That's, sorry y'all. But yeah, and normally like if I'm going somewhere, baby, like actually about to go somewhere at the moment, best believe baby, we tying these edges down, which I probably should tie my hair down now. It's just. I think all of my scarves are ready to go to be washed. Like, I can't, I don't see one. Oh, there's a scarf right there. Hold on, y'all. I just lied. I'm going to tie my edges down. 
And then I'm about to do my makeup routine. This is why I do really like have to tie my edges down because, and normally I do, y'all my hair will get so curly. What I just did won't even be lasting if I don't tie it up. But y'all see, you don't always have to do too much to do too much, you feel me? A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. Now I did do another swoop in between here so I don't always have to like have identical sides like when I do my edges I don't care if they're not identical sides but I definitely know right here I need an extra swoop I do need an extra swoop I need something to come just to give it an even balance ouch jeez just hit my elbow and that thing hurts okay so y'all see and this, I think I could take out just a little bit more hair, which I'm going to use this part and just rake out a little bit more hair. Just a little bit more hair to assist the swoop. Make it look a bit more fuller like the other one. Really, it's in your swoop game when you use these brushes. This end, you can swoop edges too, but I don't use that end to swoop edges. I just use the brush and a comb. And then that middle part, I mean, obviously, if you wanted to do something dramatic, like a a piece, you can, but I'm just going to do it like that, right? I'm just going to slick it. That's my hair. I think I'm going to do a picture today. It's so, it's so contradictory, too, because it's like, you know, when you don't feel up to something and then you change your perspective and you say well I know I might not be feeling like I'm up to it I might not be feeling the best right now today but I'm actually gonna get cute and flip the whole script <laughs> my side and it's not all right without you i'm walking blind show me a sign i know that you work on your own time but how about mine but how about mine everything i see online telling me this is fine ever since i was nine feels like i'm serving time to take my head scarf off mm, i almost knocked my drink over this my edges this my hair that should grow. I probably could have, like I said, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here. As you guys can see, my foundation is a bit light. So in certain parts, I'm gonna just seal it in. Normally I mix better the foundations because I use the mixture, but today I don't think I mixed it well, baby. These are all of my color tones too. It's just, like I said, I've already started tanning, so I was just this color, and now your girl tan, I start hitting. So I'm just gonna go along my edge line so it can kind of blend. Okay, because we don't got time. It's so crazy how I tan, y'all. Like, I was just this foundation look a couple weeks ago or a week ago. And now that sun has been getting your girl. This is what it looks like. Um, so now I'm about to throw on some clothes. So I have some videos that I need to film. So I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little clean beauty routine. I'll see y'all in a bit.